If you missed the latest episode of How To, I'm gonna catch you up to speed. The MSC-led team set out on a journey to answer the question, how to increase ROI with metrology. We met up with Minitoyal sales engineer, Haney Abdel in their Aurora, Illinois facility, and we just had a candid conversation about the need for metalworking employees to better understand advancements and innovations in their industry. And with that came Minitoyal's latest advancement, the ABS Digimatic S1 indicator, and how it can lead to sustainable growth in your business. Now, we learned a lot in that last episode, and I felt the need to take a deeper dive in a real-world aspect of utilizing all of this measurement information that we gathered and putting it to work for us to make us money. So I went out on my own journey an hour away from Mitutoyo, and it landed me right here at HM Manufacturing, where you and I are gonna get to learn how to conquer data collection. Brother, yeah. you couldn't stay away. You get one episode in and you got another. Yeah, you know, it was so much fun. I figured we got to do this again, <laughs> right? So you are the Minitoyo National Account Manager. Patrick, I appreciate the time. And yeah. the conversation we had previous, man, yeah. we were really diving into not only, hey, Minitoyo has these technologies. Here's, here's our solution, blah, yeah. blah. It was really about how you can bring these into a business to not just use smart technology, but to turn your shop into a smart shop. Absolutely. Um, what's some of your opinion seeing that out in the industry? Obviously, people know us for our calipers yeah. and, and micrometers, right? But we're just we're more than a gauge company. We're a technology company, right? And for so long, most people thought about, hey, metrology is something you should do at the end of the process, right? Yeah. Just to verify, right? Yeah. But it's something you should be doing all through your process. In line. In line. Yeah, in process, right? Yeah, yeah I love that, man. Yeah. And there's somebody that I have that I want you to meet okay. that has a perfect understanding of utilizing processes in line. Nicole Walter, how's it going? Good, how are you right. guys? Nice to meet you. Right. Thanks for being here. This yeah. is great. Yeah. This is the president, the owner oh, wow. of HM Manufacturing here. Nice. Really appreciate your time letting us come in with spindles still turning, money still getting made on these machines. Oh yeah. I really wanted to dive into your experience, your opinion when it comes to implementing new solutions, new innovations. I Out here it's on the machine shop side, it's on the metrology side, but you're running a company, you're running a business. Like what's it like making these types of decisions day in, day out? Um, well, it's hard, right? <laughs> but I, I think what's really neat is as manufacturing is evolving and it's changing, we need to as well. So our whole motto is every two years, we either add or replace. And we're very much doing that with our inspection. It used to be the last thing. It's now our first thing that we think about before we even start on a job. Yeah. Um, you know, before it was just donuts. So it was really simple. We didn't need a lot of a lot of tools for that. Now with aerospace and defense, it is number one. It's so primary, the stuff that we have to do. And so we take it very seriously, especially because those balloon drawings, they have so many different <laughs> features that you have to check and we need to be on it. That's yeah. funny you reiterated the the whole last, oh, usually people think of metrology as the yeah. end of line. Last right. thing, last thing to change out a lot of the times. That's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. What's yeah. your opinion on her take? So you said you change out technologies every two years. I feel like people sometimes can change out technologies, but not processes. Yeah. So what are some things that you think people can do better to implement new processes with this technology? Yeah, I tell you, it's refreshing to hear. It's not about <laughs> just pumping out parts, but it's pumping out quality parts, right? <laughs> and having an inline, in-process measurement, you can identify all kinds of things. You can identify, hey, we're having excess scrap, or we're having issues with our cutting tools. You can, having that measurement and data collection piece is a great part of that, and also can help you identify, nice. hey, where's, where's the weak link in the chain, right? Do you guys actually utilize, because I, I want some honest reviews here, do you use the data collection to actually make improvements in your process. So maybe you're starting with this new technology to help you advance. Does that help you kind of learn what ways you need to adjust in when it comes to your measuring processes? Absolutely, right? I mean, it could be down to a tool change. If you're starting to see chatter and you can't get that surface finish, yeah. um, you know something's up. And so 
we have a great team where we collaborate. We talk with engineering. We even talk to our MSC reps. We nice. even talk to Mitotoyo at times being like, what's happening here? I think the more that you can utilize your network to figure out what's happening, the better it is, right? Because at mm. the end of the day, you want to be able to give a really good product to your customer. Yep, absolutely. And at the end of the day, once you start getting into high level industries, we're talking medical, we're talking aerospace, we're talking military, government work, your inspection process is going to go from this to documentation like this. It is no joke. It is very real. And to protect yourself, you need to document everything. Nicole, I appreciate your time here. Absolutely. It's been great having you guys. <laughs> nice Have fun. You. brought all this equipment in yeah. to show me, to convince me on why not only should I go mid a Toyo, but I should go smart. I should get new technologies for my shop. Sure. Give me a quick overview. Yeah, sure. Uh, so we got a variety of tools, all tools with output. We got a thickness gauge here, our IDC indicator, which is similar to the IDF indicator that we have here, and uh, our quantum mic and uh, the good old coolant proof caliper. Right? Nice. So what is cool about this gauge, Jacob, is it's highly programmable. So you can put things in like calibration date. So if you're following accreditation, you have the calibration date actually programmed in the gauge itself. And this is important because if you're following an accreditation and you get audited, it's huh. in the gauge itself. So if the gauge is out of calibration, out of actually blink, letting the operator know, hey, I'm out of calibration. You're not supposed to be uh, using me, pal. So you're getting rid of that sticker that I see in machine yeah. shops that say, the oh, last that... inspected three years yeah, ago. But it falls off, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's actually in the gauge itself. Nice. So the other thing we did is we simulated a dial. As you see, as I move the part around, oh. you can kind of, you see it move, right? So you can kind of do that trend where you're seeing as you're, as you're man machining parts and it gets a little bit worse, you can kind of see that dial. So yeah. we're trying to simulate a dial gauge and a digital indicator all in one. So you're getting the measurement sent directly into a PC. So you know you're getting good measurement. And instead of maybe writing something down, <laughs> it's going right in there. And then also you can send important information with the next, this next level indicator. You can send important information like serial number, calibration date, along with the measurement. So this is already hooked up uh, where if I go and measure something in the machine, it can get sent over to you if you want to play yeah, inspector. So, yeah, right. So, hey, we got a caliper. Why not use it right in the machine? All right, I'm gonna go put this to okay. the test. I'll be right back. All right. Brother, I appreciate yeah, your time today. It's been a lot man. of fun, Jacob. Everything we've learned here at HM Manufacturing all revolves around taking somebody's product, bringing it into your business, and finding how it can improve your process. That's what the day's about. And after it all, I hope you learn how to conquer data collection. For more metalworking tips and industry best practices, stay tuned for the next how-to episode and subscribe to the MSC Industrial Supply YouTube channel, a source of original manufacturing content built to make you better.